Video Diary, The Greenhouse, 2019. Today I brought in four or five wheelbarrows of compost, mixed it in a bit, and we've got a simple plan this year, tomatoes along the bottom, cucumbers and courgettes along the shelf. Got one box in the corner, Another one in that corner, one here in the middle, one there in the corner, and one to find another box to put somewhere around here. Too many tomato plants, so I'm going to have to give those two away because those need to be in a greenhouse. These two can be outside, just need to figure out where the hell to put them. Varieties of the tomatoes, we've got beef tomato. Blue Bayou, Black Russian, don't know if that shows up, Gardener's Delight, and the Amateur, and then it goes back to another beef, another Blue Bayou, Black Russian, Beef, Blue Bayou, and Black Russian. So it's the 20th of April, 21st of April. So that's the first entry. So the tomatoes have been out here acclimatizing for I think three days now. And I lay the pots on their sides so that the the, it, the plant changes direction and starts going up. So that means that whole plant all the way down here is all going to make roots instead of just planting it straight and then just the area that's already in the soil will make roots now but now it's going to make much much more roots roots
Okay, video diary entry, 27th of August, in the greenhouse. Little bit of a white flag problem, but not as bad as last year. We got one really nice, oops, marrow growing up here in the box. There's another, there's another one just about to flower there so i have to remember to come out tomorrow and see about pollinating it but we got these the squash plants growing up from that corner and just going everywhere they're coming right up here all the way across and there's one squash coming it's all up in there Across here, here's another one, and another one. It's grown all the way across to here. Hey, you! Oh, excuse me. Hey, you again. Okay, we've got a little one coming here as well. I should just. This thing's just creeping all over everything. Oh, and another one there. Little one. Starting. Well, we've got the tomatoes at the bottom. This one variety is Gardener's Delight, and it's doing really quite nicely. Next to it, we've got the Amateur. It's a bit smaller tomatoes, but lots of them coming. Next variety is a beef tomato variety. They're coming, but they're still very green. I don't know if you can see the white fly there. Um, that one, I don't know what variety that one is. Oh, it's just an offshoot from the beef tomato. Black Russian. And some sizable tomatoes. They haven't turned black yet. Waiting for that. Not too many on there. Beef tomato again in the corner. Nothing, no tomatoes on there yet. This one. I kind of lost track of variety, but looks like a good one. I suspect it's the same uh, gardeners in the night. No, the amateur. I guess it's an amateur. And there's quite a bit of fruit coming on there. And this is the same plant. So we're going to have a decent crop on that. The last one is again amateur. So. That actually seems like it's been quite a good tomato this year. That plant growing back there, no real idea what that is. But it's, ah, let it grow. Chilies are coming. There's quite a few of them up there. Notice today that there's quite a big one over here somewhere. Right up there. That one. And then we've got the cucumber plant, which is growing on the shelf at the back in that wooden box. At note to self, the box is too small. <laughs> Have to water it a bit too often because there's not enough water in there. I didn't realize this thing was gonna grow so big. It's right up into the, to the top of the greenhouse. And we've got, there's a little cucumber coming there. Decent sized cucumber there. Another one over there. This cucumber, I think it's actually called Perfection. And that's a nice one. That's a really thick one. And I'm probably going to go with this variety again next year. Quite a few coming. It took quite a long time and it's quite late in the season. There's another one up there. Somewhere. Yep. But it is doing well. I need to get it planted earlier next year. Okay, but that's basically 
everything that's happening in the greenhouse except Tortorello up there. It's grown and grown and grown, climbed all over the place and never produced anything. So I won't bother with that next year. And Tomatillo, also same story, grew quite well, fell over and then continued to grow all over the place but never produced anything. Okay, I'm done. Video diary, did some rhubarb chard here and then kind of forgot about it, should have been harvesting this, have harvested a little bit. But that went well out there, just next to the greenhouse. Tobacco plants are growing up through the cracks in the tiles, cracks between the tiles. Didn't plant them, they just just decided that's where they wanted to grow. Same with the mustard greens. This is a mustard green plant that grew up between the between the paving slabs. Loads of seeds on there. They're gonna get spread all over here, so we'll have lots of mustard greens growing all over the place. Horseradish has just exploded. It'd be really interesting to know what's going on under the under the soil. And I suspect that within the next year or two that whole area is just going to be taken over by horseradish, which is fine with me. We won't have this mint, which again didn't plant, it was just seeded naturally from last year. Right this year we've got parsley there, harvested a couple of times, going well. We've got chamomile there, harvested two or three times. Probably need to harvest some of those again. Rhubarb went well and seems to be growing new leaves at this point in the year. Strange. What did we have in here? Oh, we had dill in here, but it stopped and now that's a tobacco plant and nettles just taking over. This is citronella. It's bushed up again, even though I've harvested, harvested it a couple of times. The chives, been harvesting all year, still going. Mint, again, a couple of harvests, but still loads there, should really harvest again. That's a chilli plant, note to self, don't plant chilli plants outside, they don't work. Basil, surprisingly good. And the more you, you, more you prune off, the better it grows. Need to get rid of those nettles though. This thing, what's it called, Oha, Oha Hiki. Ohayahiki or something like that. Didn't plant it, had it in there last year, decided although it grew well, there's not much you can do with it. It doesn't taste that great. But well, it seeded itself and there's loads of it. Just wish I could figure out something to do with it. What I actually planted in here before the this thing took over was sorrel. I have to remember this barrel no point planting anything in there but I really should try and find a way of using this stuff okay and we didn't use the last barrel this year 